How's it going? Dave from Comic Book Investments. So in this video, we're going to look at five keys that are dropping in price by quite a lot. 88%. That's a big, big drop. I've done this channel for a while and that's a really big drop and it's by a lot too. It went from like 7,700 down to like nine or $600. We'll have to get into it, you know, the exact details, but it's quite a bit. But I also got some other ones on here that are very interesting. Um, I always say comment below if there's something you want me to check out and I will not all of them make it on this list But I always like it because I get some really interesting ones. I'm like, huh? I haven't I don't remember that book or I haven't checked it out in a long time. So pretty cool stuff Let's get right into it. First up is we got Captain Marvel number 17. This is the second printing a 9.4 is down 80% from $2,000 last year, now selling for $4.16. A 9.6 is down 82% from $3,500, now selling for $6.36. And a 9.8 down from $7,700, now selling for $900. That's down 88%. Man. And it sucks too because I had this book, I believe, in a 9.8. And I remember listing it and it just kept dropping and dropping and dropping. I don't even think I even sold it. I think I still had it. Uh, but yeah. It's just, I will have to say, I don't know why this is, I can speculate, but a lot of the Captain Marvel stuff, so uh, Carol Danvers or Camilla Khan or anything like that has to do with like Captain Marvel in general, the books went up a lot and then all went down like a lot and never recovered. Like Marvel Super Heroes uh, 13, first Carol Danvers. It went up a lot and then it's just way down. I didn't even get a comic book because obviously that movie came out like ages ago. And these these books, I I just do not think that these characters are resonating to get new fans. So that is one of the issues when people uh, speculate is they assume that these movies are going to be good or at least good enough to acquire new fans and they will buy these books later at a bigger price. So a lot of people will speculate and it'll shoot way up, but then the movie sucks or the show or whatever it is. And it has to and like the people that are watching it and they like it, maybe they like it like, oh, I like it, but they don't love it so much where it's like Iron Man, where it's just like, I have to collect everything Iron Man. Like I need his first appearance or whatever it is. So that's like the downside of speculation is you're assuming that these movies are going to be so good and they used to be, but they were so good that everyone, you're going to get a whole new slew of fans jumping into comic books that love these characters and their number one grail on their list is, you know, first appearance of Captain Marvel or something like that. And it just hasn't been that way in a long time. So pretty much end game was the end of that, um, that whole era. Next, we got Earthworm Jim number one. A 9.4 is down 40% from 310 to 185. There is no 9.6 that has sold in the last couple of years. A 9.8 is down 70% from 11.40 to 3.40. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of speculation on this book. I mean, I think I have a couple copies that I have and I held back. Sometimes I like I just like think of things. I'm like, hmm, that'll be interesting. You know, kind of like like the Mario and stuff like that. And I'm like. Sometimes it pans out and sometimes it doesn't. And the thing is you have to get ahead of it. You can't speculate when everyone is speculating because then you end up paying eleven forty for a book. So you have to, because I remember seeing this on like key collectors, top trending books at one point, but you have to speculate way before other people speculate. And at that time, there's actually less risk and there's a, and more reward. So if you, if all of a sudden this pops up, some news, someone comes out and says, we're making an Earthworm Jim movie. I think they even announced they're making a new cartoon. I don't think it ever materialized. Well, when that happens, you have a bunch of people jumping on the same bandwagon, right? And so then this book shoots up to 1140 out of the blue over nothing. And so now you're buying this book at a premium, hoping that number one, this movie, cartoon, whatever book, whatever it is, comes out. Number two, that it's good. Good and three, it's good enough to get in new fans. So that is a lot of that is a lot of things you need to go right. Or if you just think like, okay, what could possibly, um, what are some things that could possibly happen, you know? And so, like the Mario, I was like, okay, it makes logical sense that at one point Nintendo is gonna have to make a cinematic universe. Okay, what are they gonna? They're gonna go with Mario first, Zelda, and I talked about this years ago. 
and then it ended up happening. And so you just kind of have to buy it then, not when it's going up, because now when you buy when it's on the rise, you kind of have to make sure all those three things I said work out or it's not going to. Maybe it does get made, but the movie sucks and no one really cares and this goes down. Um, so that's like the thing. I, I bought a couple copies. There's, there's other books I buy. I buy, I buy random books all the time and maybe something happens, maybe something doesn't. Sometimes something does happen and I've had them for years and I totally forgot I even had them. So yeah, you just kind of have to think like, hmm, what could possibly happen? So, I mean, I like Earthworm Gem. I used to play the video game and watch the cartoon. All right, next we got Death's Head 2, number one. A 9.4, mm, no real sales. A 9.6 uh, went from $60 to $10, one sold for $10, eight, down 83%. And a 9.8 is down 48% from 100, down to 52. Uh, this book, I really know nothing about it. I'm just gonna be honest. But I can tell you the reason why I don't know much about it because there's, it's never gonna be anything special about this book. Um, it sells for case cost. $52 is case cost. That, when I mean case cost, that's the cost that it takes to send the book to CGC, get it graded, shipping there, shipping back, air insurance, all that kind of stuff. So it's going to run you around $50 in total, depending where you live and how much shipping is. So that's what it's going to cost. And you have to hope you get a 9.8. You got a 9.6, no one cares. That's why one sold for $10. Now, if you have a 9.6, are they all going to sell for $10? No, it's, someone probably just put it in an auction and someone's like, sure, I'll take it for $10. Bucks. Um, but this is a book that is not really desired. It's going to be case cost. This came out in 92. It's 30 years old. It will always be forever case cost. Um, unless something happens with this character where it blows up somehow. I don't see that happening. But it's forever going to be case cost uh, in a 9.8. That's just what it's going to be. So it's going to hover around, you know, maybe one and goes in auction for like 30 bucks. Uh, on general, probably sell for like case cost, which is like $50. Maybe you get someone that's convinced and pays a premium a little more if there's like that week happens to be not very many on eBay, but it's a case cost book and it'll forever be. Next is X-Men 94. Uh, a 6.5 is down 72% from 1,600 to uh, 450. Uh, 8.5 is down 67% from 2,900 to 950. And a 9.2 is down 65% from 5,500 to 1,925. Um, yeah, so this is around the 60, mid 60s, early 70s uh, percent range. I will say that the looking at it, some were picking up in the last couple months. That, like you give me a look at this graph, and there's like a little little uptick on some of this stuff. So maybe we've probably reached close to the bottom or it could just be a random couple months that it's been doing well. I'm pretty sure that we've reached towards the bottom of this book. I'm not saying that I can't drop anymore, but the drop from here would only be like another 10, maybe 20% uh, from its current position. So not much. Um, now, obviously, there's always going to be ebbs and flows in the market. So, you know, one month it could sell for, you know, 9.50 and an 8.5. The next month it could sell for, you know, 10.50. And the next month it could sell for 8.50. But that doesn't mean it's dropping. You have to look for a trend of it dropping. That's just ebbs and flows. Some auction, someone needs to get rid of a book real quick, low buy it now. No one's around buying this particular book. It goes low. Or maybe there's a lot of people having to be buying at that same particular week and then it goes a little higher. Always going to be ebbs and flows. But I think this is nearing the bottom, if I had to guess. All right, last is Fantastic Four, number 12. Uh, a 2.5 is down 52% from 1,200 to 576. A 5 is down 59% from 3,100 to 1,277. And a 7 is down 48% from almost 5,000. Now it's on for 2,600. Um, this book always brings me back a lot of memories because I worked really hard to get this book when I was a kid. Uh, I used to work for my dad. And he'd pay me in comic books. So I'd save up, you know, work X amount of hours and I get X amount of dollars and I'd use that to buy comics. And I remember working really hard for this one. I wanted this one. Um, another one I worked really hard for was the Hulk 181. I think I had like a 9.6 or a 9.4 back in the day. It was like when CGC first came out. Um, but I sold it and bought my first car. But um, yeah, so this book, I'm not worried about it. I mean, even dropping by like 50%, it does sting, but there's also a lot of ebbs and flows in the market. So 50% from its peak, 
seems like a lot. It's not that much. I would say like general rule of thumb, if it's dropping like 20 or 30% from its peak, that's kind of normal just because, um, like I said, books like this are a little more rare. They're not like common where you're going to find thousands of them on eBay. So you could be, one could go on auction, goes a little cheap, one could go a little more expensive. So 20, 30% difference between those numbers is common. Uh, 50% obviously is more than that. So it is a bit of a drop, but I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, one, one month later, all of a sudden this book goes up another like five or 10% from where the last sale was. Um, but overall, I don't, I'm not worried about this book long-term. Have a good weekend.